guys, Mars Singen here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video, and so we are continuing on our Namekians uh, spree here by taking the full Namekians team against the Broly event uh, in the red zone over here. Now, I had a few people tell me that they are not huge fans of the format of like just having the you know couple of fights like the various last bosses all put together into one thing and then having the um, like footage sped up and everything so i decided we might as well just go ahead and do a straight up versus broly battle here um, i'm kind of relying on <laughs> physical piccolo being able to stun because i don't want to float him off i guess i could have put nail in slot one but like i don't want to float off piccolo so um, I didn't really want to put physical Piccolo in slot one either. It's a uh, bit of an interesting one because the thing is the scouter effect for Piccolo, obviously very, very powerful ability, but like just because you have it doesn't mean you get a um, perfect answer to the rotation of where to put your units, right? So 467, yikes. <laughs> I mean, considering it's type disadvantage and we didn't get one shot, that's still fairly decent, but... That's what I get for relying on the stun chance from uh, <laughs> Physical Piccolo. Because unfortunately, losing a very large amount of HP actually kind of sets us back in our um, strategy of what we're trying to do. Which of course is, we want to get as many stacks with Piccolo as we can. So, when we drop below 77% HP, he loses that ability to get um, the guaranteed additionals. Uh, not guaranteed, but he gets a guaranteed additional normal attack that could convert into a super. And then just by virtue of getting that additional attack, even if it is a normal, it's more likely to trigger the hidden potential. So anytime you go into a rotation with this physical Piccolo and you're below 77% HP, you're missing out on a ton of value, which is kind of unfortunate, right? Because in these harder events, we want to be getting as many stacks as possible. And of course, on the second turn, both physical Piccolo and the in Piccolo Jr. stun Broly. So, where was that RNG on our uh, first turn, huh? Well, the good thing is we're not going to kill him this turn, which means we are going to get an extra turn that we can start getting some stacks, building up some more um, defense. Because he is stunned, so he can't do anything. So, we'll go ahead and put Piccolo in slot one. Unfortunately, we did not start above um, the HP threshold, so... We won't be getting that guaranteed attack. Hopefully, the uh, the best case scenario is we don't kill with the first super because it doesn't crit. And then he does actually get an additional from his hidden potential. But we are slowly building back up. So we should be... Okay, well, he didn't get the additional. We take any extra stacks, though, I suppose. And then, of course, LR Piccolo. We want him to get hit to build up. So Broly being stunned is actually a little bit disadvantageous for him. But... I will take it, right? So, we'll do this. Uh, where's a safe spot for Nail? Oh, both of the last spots are only one attack. That's good. So, super attack. Here in the second slot. So, I think we need to do this then, right? So, we'll do this. Uh, you're going to take... Piccolo Jr. is going to take a normal attack first, which then gives him a defense buff. Then he's going to get some super attacks off. So, he's going to get even more of a defense buff. And, of course, he has type advantage. So, he should be able to tank the super here from Broly reasonably well. Um, if he only gets one super attack off, that'd be a little bit disappointing. But And, of course, remember, now from the second phase onwards, we can't stun or seal or anything like that. We didn't get an additional super. That's the problem. If you have him in slot two or three, having that extra chance to do an additional is so big. And the fact that his passive, he doesn't get the guaranteed additional attack that has a chance to become a super. It's just a chance to do an additional super. So if it doesn't proc, you just don't get anything. Which, you know, in this instance, not so bad. I mean, we took, what, 22k? So not really a lot. I wonder how much Nail is going to take. Type disadvantage, he's supered, what, three times? Double digits. All right, nice. I was a little bit worried about him on this type disadvantage turn, but... Yeah, we take those. And then no super this turn. Okay. <laughs> Good old Demon King Piccolo not sharing any links with anyone on the rotation except for um, the uh, Piccolo Jr. Well, I suppose he does share legendary power with LR Piccolo here now. But <laughs> not exactly the craziest. Once he transforms, yeah, he's going to become a lot better. He won't have the orb restriction in order to have the damage reduction. 
Um, and the only real reason why he's on the team, he's the last pick, so that obviously he can be relatively good defensively when we get to the AGL Broly. So, but yeah, the Namekians team definitely is a lot of fun. Um, I really want them to release, we talked about this in yesterday's video, I don't want to like rehash all of the same points, although I'm sure maybe some of you guys haven't seen the one from yesterday versus the Androids Red Zone stage, but I really want them to now bring out a Dokon Fest exclusive Lord Slug, hopefully a Giant Form 1 so he has the Transform link, um, because then with links like Transform, Big Bad Bosses, Thirst for Conquest, he's going to be a really good link partner for the Piccolo Jr. Because on the Namekians team, obviously Piccolo Jr.'s team, he has a bunch of good options, um, but on the full Namekians team, where we are just running Namekian characters under Physical Piccolo's leader skill, there aren't any, like, really, really good, um, leads for, uh, sorry, link partners for this Int Piccolo. So what are we looking at defense-wise here? Yeah, we, I think we need to do this again, really. Um, it is not the first attack, so he's going to get the defensive buff. So we know last turn he took, what was it, like 22k. He will take slightly more than that because he's not going to get to super attack first this time. Um, but we'll see what happens here. Um, ideally, I guess to be fair, he builds up his passive as he's supering as well. So he does get stronger even if he hasn't supered on that particular turn. But... Yeah, 87k. Does that drop us below 77% HP or not? Because that's the thing, as I say, anytime you're coming into a turn below 77% HP, you lose a lot of value on physical piccolo. But I think... Actually, no, we are probably on, what, like 72? <laughs> it's unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, well, piccolo additional? Uh, additional from the hidden potential? No. Unfortunate. Alright, so, the thing we got to be very careful is, with the AoE phase coming up, now, the Scouter effect for Piccolo is, of course, very, very useful, because one of the reasons why I think that the Broly fight is probably still the hardest red zone fight, like, the only other one in comparison is, of course, the um, Metal Cooler Core, is because the AoE, combined with the fact that you can't dodge, is, if he's going to super attack you in slot 1, you are put into a situation that's like, well, you either use an item or you die. With quite a few, even like top tier teams have units that need to attack first to get a lot of their defense. And so having a scouter effect is obviously very useful because we know where the super is, but we still have to play out the turn, right? And put our units in the right spots. So if we can see with the scouter from Piccolo that he is going to super in slot one, then that leaves us with, yeah, great. <laughs> All right, so, um, he's got 270k. That's not really enough, is it? So I'm going to have to item up here. Um, now, what I could do, because I think we are almost certainly getting the Dokon attack this turn. So I think what I need to do in order to get the best possible turn here is I'm not going to get a super with you because I don't want you to do the Dokon attack. Then I'm going to... I'm going to have to double Whis because Physical Piccolo's defense is not high enough for him to uh, not get absolutely destroyed by this super. And then if we grab these for you, yeah, that'll drop down all these in orbs. We can grab all of those for you. Uh, it's not quite enough to get the 18 key super, which is unfortunate. But it means Piccolo Jr. is going to do the um, Dokon attack. So we should be all good. Wait, did I use the item? Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, Piccolo wouldn't be taking double-digit damage if I didn't. <laughs> Alright, so, additional? Ah, see, I was hoping even if we missed the super, we could still get an additional from the passive or the hidden potential. We at least get one. So getting one extra stack here. Because in this stage, we do not want physical Piccolo, especially untransformed, to be getting the Dokon attack. So, do this. Oh, wow, that's going way slower than I thought it was. Okay. Didn't correct efficiently after the first one. I really did not realise it was going that slow. But, I mean, Piccolo Jr., we're rocking, what, 5.5. We have the potential for additionals because we're in slot 2. We do get bonus damage off of this because it is the Dokon attack. And then, of course, we have LR Piccolo on the next rotation as well. Who I think at this point is pretty much fully built up, right? So he's going to be uh, doing quite a lot of damage on this next turn as well. But... There's the crit. Yeah, see, there you go. You put Piccolo in slot 2, or Piccolo Jr., and then look at the difference, getting the triple super turn here. I think that makes him now, like, fully built up. 
So pretty decent damage from him. Um, LR Piccolo, uh, Piccolo, Demon King Piccolo at the end is, uh, yeah, <laughs> not exactly um, positioned for doing insane amounts of damage, but it's fine. <laughs> Additional normal for the tiniest sliver of extra damage, you love to see it. Okay, so we know we don't need to worry about the attack placements on this turn because we have um, the double Whis up. Um, I think if we do, let's do this, then this. I mean, we don't need any HP and we've used the Dokon attack. So, I mean, there's no real reason to pick up same type orbs or not pick up same type orbs. But we should be good here. Um, I think we will kill this turn. We've got the rotation of uh, LR Piccolo with STR Piccolo next to him. So he should be dropping a pretty big number here. Yeah, 12.8 mil. <laughs> Pretty good. So if he gets a crit, then uh, big time damage here for a Broly. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Look at that smirk on his face. Take out Broly. So now we get to the true test. There's no attacks in the middle. Interesting. Where's the supers, though? That's the question. Only one. Okay. Um, so how do I want to do this? Who has the most defense? You have 429. So if I transform with Piccolo now, um, with his defensive buff, he should be okay to tank the attacks here from Broly. Because he's going to transform. Let's transform. Um, and then we get the extra 50% when we super. So he's got 447. He's got 40% damage reduction as well, which is the key. It's not just the fact that he gets a bit of extra defense on super. Like That wouldn't really be enough. But the fact that he has the 40% damage reduction as well is what essentially will keep us in the running here. So, yeah, we should take double digits from the normals, nice and easy. And then let's see what we get here with the super RNG. The last couple of videos I've done with this physical Piccolo, he's done pretty well in actually getting his, like, additional supers, um, I say. And then he gets the normal that had a 70% chance to become a super and then gets an additional normal from the hidden potential. I just shouldn't have said anything. And it would have been a triple super turn. But so yeah, let's see. What does he take from this? So we got 40% damage reduction. His defense is probably what around 600k at this point. So still 180. But could we gotta consider as well the fact that because we're running double physical piccolo, we only have a 170 lead. So we are gonna get slightly lower numbers attack-wise and take slightly more damage than if we were running um, a full 200 percent team. But Wow, Piccolo only getting the one super. That is unfortunate. At least there is no super in the end. I think if there was another super at the end of this turn, I would have played the rotation probably the same way. But Piccolo not getting that extra super would actually have been disastrous for us. So I think what we want to do here, we do want to make sure we get the win. So I am going to use the um, orange Piccolo transformation. I've talked about this in previous videos where I don't like using it as like a crutch when we're trying to showcase like other units and stuff but the whole point of this video is we're using the power of the full Namekian team to beat the event right so it would be kind of dumb to not use uh, the orange piccolo transformation because not only is it um, gonna do hopefully a pretty good amount of damage considering we have type advantage um, but we cancel out that super that we already know about and then once the turn ends I mean we have piccolo physical piccolo still on rotation so we can see if there are going to be any shenanigans. Because he was only supering once. And Broly can super twice. I feel like I've talked about this in almost every video that I've used the Piccolos lately. So you guys probably know what I'm talking about. But yeah, we need him to super twice during the Giant Form transformation. If we want to make sure that both of those supers are cancelled out for when the Giant Form actually ends. So there's a crit. You'd love to see that. Yeah, Piccolo should be able to do a pretty decent amount of damage. Orange Piccolo being able to get these additionals is uh, one of the things that makes his giant form actually pretty good. And obviously in this case where we have type advantage, even when we're not getting crits, um, you know, additional normal attacks aren't really doing a huge amount of damage to him. But, it, like, every little helps, right? Chip away his HP um, and slowly but surely we get closer and closer to victory. So every single extra attack from orange piccolo has some value even if it's just a normal attack that does a tiny shaving of his hp but 
all good, right? So, the question is, will we get a third turn? Because that really swings, like, the tide. Like, there are certain events where the orange piccolo transformation is pretty much just the win button, right? And if you get that third turn, that just solidifies that. Like, so let's do this, do this. Yeah, very consistently hitting the 18 key supers as well. We actually got 24, 24, and 23 key. So, and there's that second super. So now we know for sure once we come out of this orange piccolo form, he's not going to super attack again. Very cheeky though there, the uh, super being in slot one. AGL Broly does uh, love to do that. Uh, now we just get to sit and watch him uh, get bashed around by orange piccolo again. <laughs> That's the only downside, I think I did say in like yesterday's video, but the only downside to the Orange Piccolo, which isn't really even a downside, it's more of just like a, you know, minor irritation, I suppose, is the fact that it just takes so long. <laughs> it runs just take longer when you have a bunch of uh, giant form transformations going off, because you're getting free damage, but it's not like insane amounts of damage, right? So, but I mean, we have taken him down to... Uh, basically half HP off of one, like, quote-unquote, real turn, and then this giant form transformation. So, it means we probably will, I don't want to, I don't want to say with full certainty, but we potentially will win on the turn where we come out of the giant form, because we have LR Piccolo on rotation, who's going to drop another, like, pretty big attack stat. He's not going to have a support unit, but going to drop another pretty big attack stat. And uh, I could transform the other physical Piccolo as well. So then he's potentially going to do more damage. Because um, that's the thing. I could take the risk of just not transforming physical Piccolo. And then we get another turn where he gets to stack defense. Because he's at 441k. But I think we probably just go ahead and actually transform here, right? So we transform. Grab these. Uh, LR Piccolo can at least get the um, legendary power link active. And then we'll grab these for Demon King Piccolo at the end. So, I'm not actually sure if we will win this turn. It kind of depends on the RNG from Physical Piccolo. I jinxed it last turn, so I didn't really want to say. But <laughs> he gets multiple supers here and actually gets his crits off. Because he has like a 40% crit chance because we're on full HP. Okay. <laughs> well, he does get the second super at least. And his attack stat jumps up pretty significantly when he gets the additional supers. So, I will take that. Uh, there's the crit. There we go. And there's the third super. See? That's what Piccolo should be doing once we transform. Crit on this one as well? For the one time? Yeah, look at that. Nice damage. So, I think... Is LR Piccolo going to kill here? What attack stat is he dropping with no support? Oh, just 10 mil, you know. <laughs> Man, I love LR Piccolo. He's one of, probably one of my favourite units in the game. I would probably go as far as to say that he is my favourite, like, non-Saiyan unit, right? Because even some of the Heroes units that I love, a lot of them are Saiyans. Um, I think he might actually be my favourite non-Saiyan unit in the game. Let me know down below in the comments section, if you made it this far, who is your favourite non-Saiyan unit? <laughs> Look at LR Demon King Piccolo not able to finish off Broly with that tiny sliver of health. But fortunately... There are no attacks uh, in slot one, or at least no super attacks. So we can go ahead and do this. And uh, Physical Piccolo will seal us another W here. So with the support, and obviously with his damage reduction, he's not going to take any damage from the normals. Um, it's just the power of the scour effect yet again, allowing us to know that the win was secured. I mean, at the end of the day, if the super attack was being shown in slot one, there's not much we could really do about it. We used all of our items. Um, I don't know if Physical Piccolo pre-Super would survive it. I think he would, but someone can let me know down below. But there you go. That is the all Namekians team beating Red Zone Broly. Let me know if there is another Red Zone stage that you want to see the Namekian team. I know my boy uh, Minato did the Metal Cooler Core stage with a Namekians team yesterday. So go and check out his video if you want to see Namekians versus Metal Cooler Core. And yeah, let me know your thoughts on the Namekian team down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Masked Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one